As the new U.S. administration works out its foreign policy and national security priorities, it's really important to keep our attention on the four intense civil wars raging in the Middle East and North Africa. Iraq, Syria, Yemen, and Libya. We've already seen the spillover, the violent extremism that emanates from those conflicts and devastates families, not only in those countries, but also Europe and the United States. Despite what often seems like intractable situations, there are steps the United States and international partners can take to reduce the violence and help move these countries to greater stability. That means working with NATO, the European Union, the United Nations, and other international organizations, as well as local leaders and their citizens to make change. This takes time and persistence, but it can be done if we work bottom up and top down. In addition to our military efforts and the critical humanitarian aid we can provide, we also need to deploy vigorous diplomacy to resolve these conflicts. And we need to support local citizens in these countries who are working to reduce local tensions so they don't generate more violence. The U.S. Institute of Peace has invested in mediators and facilitators on the ground across the Middle East and North Africa. These are respected community leaders stepping forward to resolve local conflicts or prevent them from turning violent by working with disenfranchised parties to find common ground. This has led to displaced people returning home, communities and roads opening, basic improvement in their day-to-day -day lives, showing us that sustainable peace can be achieved.